When it comes to the best luxury car brand, there are three brands that come into mind which people always debate about. Mercedes-Benz, BMW, and Audi. But when we want to talk about ultra luxury car brands, there's only one brand out there and it is absolutely uncontestable. This is the 2015 Rolls-Royce Wraith and it is probably the most luxurious car out there. There's probably nothing more iconic than the front grille of Rolls-Royce cars, and the Wraith is no exception. This one right here is what they call the Pantheon grille with its 12 slats on it. Just above that is your Rolls-Royce badge, which is quite unmistakable because if you are anyone who rides an airplane, chances are you will see this badge on the engines of the planes. If you're seated on the window seats, you will be extremely familiar with this badge. There is just this one more thing that Rolls-Royce cars have, and that is once you unlock the car, this lady right here with her arms towards the back shows up, the spirit of ecstasy. Now this one is actually quite hard to steal too, but just so you know, this one right here is already losing its cover. So yeah, let's just move on to the rest of the car for now. This one also gets these LED lights and sure it's nothing really fancy, but if you do go down below, that is still accentuated by your turn signals just below it and even further are these chrome strips your hood, there is one beautiful chrome strip that runs all across it. On the side of the Wraith, you will notice that despite this being a two-door car, it is still incredibly long, longer than a lot of four-door sedans out there. But what's very much worth noting towards the side of a Rolls-Royce Wraith is the fact that it is of two-tone design. Why is that so? So up here, the silver area, that is the two to one proportions, one section. So this is one and the rims, the tires are two. So this is separated like two to one. It's just quite interesting. And this is something that Rolls-Royce does a lot. Second thing worth noting here is that it still follows the classic three line design of Rolls-Royce. What are these three lines you may ask? The first one is starting from the hood and it does follow this silver part all the way towards the back of the car with this teardrop design. The second line is the shoulder lines from the front of the car all the way to the rear. And finally, you have your L-shaped lines courtesy of these beautiful rear hinged coach doors. And when you do open this, it just feels extremely luxurious. It's just quite hard to find any other car out there aside from Rolls-Royce vehicles which have these kinds of doors. And one more cool thing about it, you just lightly push it and it will close itself and suck itself shut. That way, you don't have to put in any effort because after all, you do own a Rolls-Royce Wraith. Just like any other Rolls-Royce out there, your center caps, they are weighted. That way, even if you are going at this car's top speed of an electronically limited 250 kilometers per hour, these center caps will still remain upright to make sure that everyone will not mistake your car for any other than a Rolls-Royce. So you can get the Rolls-Royce Wraith as standard with 20-inch rims, but this particular Wraith right here gets the 21-inch option to make it just a little bit more special than the rest of the vanilla Wraiths out there. Nothing sets apart the Wraith from the rest of the Rolls-Royce lineup just like the rear part of the car or the rear three quarters. And that is because of this beautiful fastback design. It is quite elegant and also very sporty at the same time. It really does exude this feeling of this car wants to be driven or rather you just want to drive this car. Your lights on this one, they aren't your usual rectangular lights. Instead, it gives you a very special shape design and towards the middle of it is another chrome strip with the Rolls-Royce badge once again to remind you that you own a Rolls-Royce. Going towards the lower part of this car, and despite this being a 2015 car, you do get your reverse sensors, which is something you would need because of how huge this car is, as well as a reverse camera. And further down below, you might think that you only get dual exhausts in this car, but actually there are dual exhausts per opening. So this has a total of four or quad exhausts. Opening up this trunk, it is a power trunk. And what you reveal here is a, uh, honestly, it's a rather small trunk given the size of this car, but it is very plush, including all the carpeting in here. And you can even open this one up where you will find an early warning device. No one should be bothered to use tools if you have Rolls Royce, but you do have your first aid kit in there. So under the hood of the Rolls Royce Wraith is this 6.6 .6 liter twin turbocharged V12 engine which makes 632 horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque 
This one right here is the BMW N74 engine, which is also what you would get with the BMW 760Li. And this is probably one of the smoothest out there. It's so ridiculously smooth that you can barely feel it start up. Yes, you do hear it, but it's almost, you just can't feel it in the car. Now we're inside the Rolls-Royce Wraith. And first off, ingress is really easy because of these rear hinge coach doors. Once you are inside and you wanna close the door, it's even easier because I can just press a button here towards the pillar and this door would automatically close for me. I can also do it for the passenger side door, by the way. Now we fire the car up by pressing this push start and it's just incredibly smooth. It's just crazy how smooth this engine is. First thing you'll notice here inside the interior is number one, it is missing a screen, but actually there's this button over here. You just press that and this cover flips up and reveals your beautiful screen. Second would be up top where there are these lights. So these are made from 1,340 individual LED strips or bulbs that do light up to give you that night sky look. You can also have this customized to fit pretty much any date out there or even close to the minute. If you want to, for example, set this your anniversary or your birthday, Rolls Royce can do all of that for you. Now we go on to the usual stuff of the car. So materials is just exceptional in quality. Here on the dashboard, it's incredibly soft, it's incredibly plush, and it is really thick. All the leather that wraps this car is just amazing. Everything is just so nice. My fingers just are in pure joy, pressing on pretty much all the leather in this car. The steering wheel, it is incredibly big. It really is pretty much like a land yacht. Your speedometer, it's really tiny, which is quite odd. But what's cool is that to the left of that, instead of having your RPM or your tachometer, you do have a power reserve in percentage to let you know just how much more power you have by, well, stepping on the throttle. To the middle of everything, aside from that screen, you have all these air vents, which are really, really solid feeling. They are made out of metal instead of your typical cheap plastic, and it's just beautiful. They frankly are the best air vents out there. If you wanna turn them off, you don't move a switch. I said there are these metal plungers which you push to close them and pull to open up your air vents again, amazing. Towards the center below, instead of having high and low, your AC setting says off, soft, medium, high, and max. Because the usual off, low, and high is just too poor for your taste. All these covers towards the middle, they are made from high quality materials with nice metal sills to give you a more luxurious touch. Two cup holders over there, a place to put your key, which unfortunately is a very similar key to a BMW 5 Series and a 3 Series and a 7 Series. So yeah, Rolls-Royce did not upgrade that. Uh, you have this rotary controller towards the middle. You can swivel it. It is very similar to BMW's iDrive system, but it has a picture of the spirit of ecstasy to reassure you that you didn't end up with a normal BMW. Now we go on towards the seats of the car. So Rolls-Royce doesn't take your typical cow, butcher them and take their hide. This is not cow hide. This leather is made from bulls. Why is that so? Because female cows, or well, cows, when they do get pregnant, they have stretch marks. And you wouldn't want to have those here on the seats. It wouldn't look the best. So they use bulls raised in cold climates. That way, even if they are going on and about, they wouldn't get bitten by mosquitoes too, and they won't have stretch marks. So this is just perfect leather upholstery in here. 15 to 18 cows have sacrificed their lives for you so that you can bask in the luxury of a Rolls Royce. If you look at the door of the Rolls Royce, right? the premium materials do continue over here. So something as simple as your window switches, they are all made out of metal. These sills, they are also all made out of metal, including your door handle. That is the most substantial indoor door handle that I have ever touched in a car. This switch right here, which moves your side mirror adjustments, that is also made out of pure metal. And just below that, you do get memory seats, but you only get two, which is quite odd. Usually it's three. Eh. Anyway, can't fold it for that. Now, one weird thing about this is that in a lot of Rolls Royces, you can have an umbrella here. So when the uh, chauffeur or the valet opens the door for you, he pulls it out and gives it to you. However, since the Rolls Royce Wraith is not a car to be chauffeured around in, instead it's a car that you drive, you have to get it by yourself, which is, it's over here. So you just press a button right here and this uh, Rolls-Royce umbrella just sticks out for you to be able to use it. 
by yourself. Now, despite the Rolls-Royce Wraith being a driver-oriented vehicle, you can still carry four fully grown adults here. So to do that, you just have to pull on this metal lever, which is also very high quality feeling, just like the rest of the materials in the car. And then you just elegantly climb on in towards the back. Once you're back here, even if I do pull the seat back, I will have great leg room, great headroom despite this fastback design. And what's amazing back here is that it is pretty much still as plush as the front. So you don't get short change here at the back. So your air vents are similar. They're also made out of metal. You get those same plungers. You get more cup holders and that smoking amenity package towards the middle. Press this button and you have an armrest that lifts up for more storage. You also get an armrest on the side and you even have those uh, tiny, tiny vanity mirrors on the side of the pillars as well. Press a button in here and this window still goes down. That is quite rare for a car like this. So we finally get to the best part. We get to drive the 2015 Rolls-Royce Wraith. And what exactly is it like to drive a Rolls-Royce? Just how much different is it from driving, let's say, an S-Class? Well, a good thing is just recently I was able to drive the W222 S-Class. That one had a V6 engine. Unfortunately, it wasn't the top of the line, but I think that is a rather good uh, comparison to this car. Now, for most people, they would probably go for the S-Class or the 7 Series. That is just, well, basic luxury. But once you get past that stage, once you've owned an S-Class for an extended period of time and you just want to look for that next best thing, well, then the Rolls-Royce is the natural step up. And the Wraith is probably one of those cars that you would pick if the S-Class wasn't really a car you were chauffeured around it that much. If you enjoy driving it often, then this is one of those cars that you would enjoy. The V12 engine under the hood is just crazy smooth. You just don't feel it at idle and more so do you not feel it when you are accelerating. You simply get pushed back to your seat without hearing much, without feeling much. It's just an incredibly sublime experience. As you arrive with that spirit of ecstasy leading the way in front of you, it just emanates eminence. That's the best way to describe this car. It simply is a different experience. Next thing would be the NVH of the Rolls-Royce. Again, how different from an S-Class? Does it have a considerably different waftiness? Does it have a more smooth suspension. Honestly, the difference is rather incremental. It's just a really tiny difference, but when you do put yourself in the situation where you do really want to feel the minute differences from an S-Class, you will definitely feel it there. The bigger difference would be the sound insulation. So in an S-Class, it is rather quiet, but the level of quietness in a Rolls-Royce is just different. You just really do feel like you're totally disconnected from the outside world. It's as if you are in a parallel universe wherein you are the only person alive. You are the only one that matters because nothing can bug you. It's so quiet in here. It's just so serene. It's just a completely different experience, a completely different motoring experience. Now the Rolls-Royce Wraith does weigh around 2.44 tons, which is a lot, but strangely, when you do want to like move this car a lot, it doesn't really roll that much. The air suspension in the Wraith is probably designed so well that even cornering it rather fast, it does not feel like it weighs two and a half tons. It's, a, it's crazy. Well, apparently according to Rolls-Royce, this one uses air suspension, 16 liters wear of air reserves to make sure that your ride is always excellent and it even adjusts the suspension every five milliseconds. What's more, the transmission in this car does use GPS to detect where you are, the topography of where you're located, and it'll predict and preset a gear for you. That way your driving experience is unhampered and just one smooth experience. According to Rolls-Royce, the Rolls-Royce Wraith can do zero to 100 in 4.6 seconds. We are gonna kind of try it out you don't want to floor it so much because wheel spin is pretty bad and the traction control does kick in a lot. Plus it's raining a little bit right now, but it's just really smooth. And it's fun to see that instead of having your RPM, you have that power reserve. Just seeing that go down, going counterclockwise, is such a different experience. It's, it's, it's so much fun. That's smooth. I've loved S-Classes for a long time and I still can't discount the fact that S-Classes are great cars 
But again, a Rolls Royce is simply a different breed altogether. Brand new, a Rolls Royce Wraith will set you back around 40 million pesos. However, for roughly the price of a new W223 S-Class, you can now pick up a used Rolls Royce Wraith. And the best news of all, this particular Rolls Royce Wraith right here is for sale in this beautiful two-tone color and it can be yours right now. So if you are interested, instead of getting a new S-Class, why don't you take it up a notch? and contact the owner of this Rolls Royce Wraith, I will put his number down below in the description. Go ahead and give him a call, and who knows, you might just end up with the pinnacle of luxury inside the garage.